Today's power word for your resume is self-starter. What does it mean? How does it appear on your resume? How do you use it to make your resume powerful? Let's look at these and more. Hi there, welcome to TELW The English Workshop with me, Manu, your English coach. In this series of resume vocabulary videos, we're going to look at power words that will make your resume stand out in the crowd. Remember, all power words are action words. They increase your chance of moving on to the next level in the hiring process. We are going to look at four things here. Meaning, what the word really says and what you wish to say, how to make these power words work for you, how to use them practically. Be careful though, do not flood your resume with these power words. They will go wrong. Support your claims with your achievements. It means a person who's sufficiently motivated to work on their own without requiring any direction or supervision. Now, if the candidate is really a self-starter, the company will get savings from reduced damages, reduced overheads, and reduced supervision time, timely completion of projects. Now, this word also has a flip side to it. It can also mean ambitious, and that's not a good thing. So we need to be careful. We need to know how this word will appear on our resume and what we can do to give the right picture to our recruiter. If you like this video, hit the like button and share it. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, hit the red subscribe button below. Don't forget the bell icon. Remember, when you're drafting your resume, you wish to look like somebody the interviewer would want to hire. You want to look professional, invaluable, dependable, and capable. At the same time, you do not want to hide your weaknesses to misguide the recruiter. Now let's see what this word really says. All right. Uh, what you wish to say is, you can do things on your own and you don't need to be guided and controlled every time. You have the initiative, you have the resourcefulness, you have the ingenuity to do things properly. But what does this word really say? On its own, if you just write self-starter, it says nothing. In fact, it says that you are nothing. It's a generic term. It does not project you as someone who can be trusted with any responsibility. It does not project you as a person you wish to say you are. So what can we do about it? We have to use some action words. Action words like invented, started, initiated, devised, designed. So if you're a self-starter, these are the things that you would have done so far in your career. And then you list out the projects or responsibilities where you did these things, invented, started, etc. That show your initiative. And these will say how resourceful you have been and how that has helped your employer save money. So you'll have to give the rupee value of the benefits that your company derived from your ingenuity. But be careful, don't reveal anything that your company considers a business secret. Now let's look at a sample sentence here. Devised an internal control system for our on-site properties spread across 11 states. Saved the company 4.8 crores in the previous financial year by way of improved efficiency and prevention of theft. Now, this is the entry. So note the use of figures here. 11 states, 4.8 crores. These make it objective. Look at the specific time period, previous financial year. It's not for the past 75 years. And the nature of savings? We, the company improved its efficiency. The other one was prevention of theft. So this is what the recruiter then reads and then decides, all right, this is my man. Thank you for watching this video, liking it and subscribing to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Until then. Thank <laughs> you.